Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, today we're going to build a bot for our WebEx Teams client. Now usually building bots involves writing at least a little bit of code and then uh, setting up a server can be a little intimidating and uh, it's easy to get kind of stuck in the weeds uh, in setting all this up. But uh, with the help of a new service called Dialogflow, which was recently purchased by Google, uh, we can set up the whole thing through their web interface and without coding a single line. Now, WebEx bots can be used for a lot of different things. Uh, they can serve as notifiers, uh, essentially notifying you when someone's added something to Dropbox or GitHub, for example. Uh, or they can also serve as a kind of uh, like a remote control, uh, basically allowing you to control outside services by sending one-to-one -one commands from your WebEx client. Uh, a really great way to automate your workflow, by the way. But the kind of bot that we're going to be building today is the kind that you're probably most familiar with. It's uh, one that can read and respond to natural language. Uh, these are great for like virtual assistants or FAQ bots, and uh, that's what we're going to build today with Dialogflow. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is go to the WebEx for Developers site at uh, developer.webex.com. I'm already logged in, but you can sign in in the top right-hand corner. And then uh, once you're logged in, you'll want to click on Start Building Apps, uh, then Create a New App, and then Create a Bot. Now this bot's name, uh, we're going to call it, uh, I guess, Collab Crush FAQ. Doesn't really matter. And the username, you want to choose something that's unique because uh, that's going to be used to create the address for adding it to your spaces. So I'm going to call it uh, CCFAQ, and it'll be CCFAQ at WebEx.bot. Next, we'll choose an icon for the bot. Now, you can upload your own image, uh, but I'm going to just choose this red one here just to save time. Then you can come down here and give it a description. Uh, I'll just say uh, this is an FAQ bot for Collab Crush. Good enough. Then we'll click Add Bot. Next, you'll be presented with this page that gives you the bot's uh, access token, the bot's ID, the name, and the username. Again, this is what you're going to use if you want to send the bot a command or if you want to add the bot to your space. And if you ever need to, you can delete your bot, uh, which I'll be doing at the end of this video. Okay, uh, next we're going to go over to dialogflow.com. You'll of course need to sign up for a free account, uh, but once you're logged in, uh, your screen should look something like this. And then just click uh, Create Agent. Of course, you'll want to give it a name, so uh, I'll call it uh, Collab Crush FAQ. Then click Create. Then click Done. And then I'm going to come down here and click Integrations. Now, this is going to show you all of the different uh, integrations that are possible. Uh, so we want to look for Cisco Spark. Uh, that's, the, that's what WebEx used to be called. And uh, of course, we'll want to turn it on, then click it. And then here we need to come back over here and uh, grab our access token. We'll copy it here, okay, and come back and then paste it in. Then we'll click Start, and then we can close that out. Okay, the next thing that you need to do is create a CSV file. Uh, now, this holds all of your pre configured questions and answers. So what you can do is just create an Excel or number spreadsheet and then save it as a CSV file. Uh, but for this to work, you have to make sure that there's uh, no title or heading and uh, also that you have only two columns, uh, one for the question, one for the answer. And uh, you also need to make sure that you delete any extra columns or rows uh, that come after your questions and answers. Okay, so once you've got all your questions and answers written out, uh, you can export it to CSV. I'll click Next here. And uh, I think I'll call this uh, FAQ, change that to one. It doesn't really matter. Then we'll export that and we're all set. Okay, so back in Dialogflow, uh, we're going to click on the settings cog here and uh, then scroll down to beta features. Uh, we'll need to turn that on and then we'll save that. Okay, then we're going to go to knowledge base. Now uh, we're going to click on create knowledge base here. And uh, of course, we need to give it a name. We'll say, um, it doesn't matter, FAQ1. And then we'll save that. 
Okay, so right now we don't have a knowledge base, so we'll click uh, create the first one. And uh, for document name, we'll just say, again, FAQ1. And for knowledge type, we'll say uh, FAQ. And the meme type is uh, text CSV. And then your data source can come from uh, a cloud source. Uh, it can come from a URL or, of course, a file on your computer, which is what ours is. So we'll go ahead and select that one and then click a select file. Choose the CS file that we created. And then we'll click create. Okay, and then under responses here, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, add response. And then we'll just accept the default values and then we'll save that. Now, what you can do uh, once you've gone through these steps and uploaded your knowledge file, uh, you can scroll up here and then click view details. And what you can do, this just gives you a chance to uh, review your questions and answers and make sure it says what you want it to. Okay, so uh, you can also go in and fine tune the responses uh, with Smalltalk. Now, I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but for now, uh, I think that we're ready to go ahead and test our bot. So let's come back over here and uh, let's grab the bot's username. We'll copy that. Then we'll go into WebEx Teams down here. We'll click this little plus button here and then choose contact a person. And of course, we'll paste in our bot's username, invite to WebEx Teams. Then it'll add the bot and uh, now we can start talking to it. So I'll say hello. And it responds, and there it is. Of course, I only created a few questions and answers, but I think you guys get the idea here. Okay, so I mentioned that you could sort of uh, fine tune the small talk. Uh, you can do that by going back to uh, dialogue flow, and then uh, we'll scroll down here where it says small talk. And then you have all these different categories. Uh, of course, uh, you've got to enable it first. Uh, and then uh, when you do that, uh, you can click on a category and then uh, write your own custom responses to, I guess uh, these would be you know, common questions that you'd ask whenever you're having small talk with somebody. So they also have these uh, pre-built agents uh, that you can work from, uh, lots of different categories to choose from. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really played with this at all, so uh, I can't really comment on it, but it looks like something really fun to explore. So that about does it for this one. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.